Hello, it's Akka007, and today I'm super excited to show you guys how to download and install the Windows 10 Tactical Preview. So for those, of you, for those of you who haven't heard, Microsoft has decided to skip the Windows 9 and jump straight up to Windows 10 instead. And they have released the Windows Tactical Preview, which is essentially a Windows 10 beta um, for you guys to download and try out. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download it and install in a virtual machine and get it up and running. Now over the next few days, I'll be uploading videos on my opinions on certain things and overviews and um, review coverages, etc. So if you're interested in to see those, um, definitely subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Facebook, stuff like that, so you can be notified when I upload a video. Anyway though, I'll show you guys how to install a virtual machine. Now you could install this operating system to your hard drive like a normal computer, um, but I don't suggest this, reason being as it is a beta, and as they can tell you right here in the remember section, that it is risky and it can crash. So I highly suggest not installing it there, because like I said, this is not the full version of Windows 10 yet, and it doesn't even have all the features yet, so there's no real point of installing the technical preview anyway. But trying it on a virtual machine is an awesome idea, if you're curious. So what you want to do is head over to the download section, and download a copy of it. Now you can choose the language and you have the option of 64-bit or 32-bit. I'm gonna go ahead and choose simply 32-bit because it's a smaller download. So I went ahead and chose 32-bit. Now if this was a normal computer that I'm using full-time, I would go 64-bit, but this is a temporary um, technical preview. So I went 32-bit because it is a smaller download. So choose the one you wanna download and go ahead and download that. Now what you wanna do is head over to the download section of VirtualBox which I'll have in the description below as well. And you can download it for whatever version of OS you use, uh, Windows OS X, Linux. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and install it. Now I'm not gonna show you guys how to install it because I already went and installed VirtualBox. So once you have VirtualBox installed, go ahead and open it up. Now after you open up a VirtualBox here, what you wanna do is click new. Go ahead and give the operating system a name. So Windows 10 is a good name for it. And what you want to do is go over to version of Windows and go scroll down to Windows 8.1 and choose either 32-bit or 64-bit depending which one you downloaded. So choose the one you downloaded. Now what you want to do is simply give it the amount of RAM that you want. So I'll just give mine 4 gigabytes of RAM. But an easy way to test that out is simply go ahead to your file explorer here and head over to PC properties. And underneath our next to installed RAM, it'll tell you how much RAM you have. Now, I wouldn't go really over four gigabytes or you can go to eight if you want, but I wouldn't go over that because this is a virtual machine anyway. And so it's not gonna be as quick as your computer normally anyway. But like I said, I wouldn't really go over eight, but check out how much RAM you have. And let's say if you have four gigabytes of RAM, give it one or two. If you have eight gigs of RAM, then give it four. So basically cut it in half unless you have over 16 and you can just give it eight or four or whatever it may be. I'll give mine four anyway, because four should be enough. Now what you wanna do is create a hard drive for, so click create. Next, and you have the two different options. You can go dynamically allocated or fixed size. Now you can read the advantage and disadvantage to both, but for the process of this video, I'm just gonna click next on dynamically. So now you can choose the max size of the hard drive. So I'll leave it at 25. I want to move mine to a different um, location because I like to keep my virtual machines in a special folder on a separate hard drive. And go ahead and click create. And it'll show up here. So now if you chose to do the fixed hard drive size, it will take an extra minute or two to create that size for you. But then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and it will show up here again. Now what you want to do from here is click settings, go to storage, and next to controller IDE, click the plus option, and go choose disk. And what you want to do is find that technical preview ISO file that you downloaded. So here's mine, I'll click it and click open. And then what you want to do is simply press OK, and press start. Now if you get an error saying that you cannot access the kernel driver, I will have a link in the description below to this article right here on how to fix that. Um, it's a very good possibility that you will get this error. So if you do get that error, 
don't be discouraged check out this article and within a couple minutes you will have booting again all right so here we go you can see that it is uh, working here so we'll go ahead and install windows 9 or windows 10 my bad all right guys so that's pretty much it for the video and it's going to go ahead and install and it's pretty much a simple windows 10 installation so it'll be uh standard stuff and install that thing and then i'll have some videos coming up over the next couple days on some different things about windows 10 so like i said before stay subscribed for that anyways guys uh thanks for watching this video hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you in my next video this is the hacker 007 and i'm signing off